Oh, hello there, little tiny people. And today we shall be talking about this specimen of a boiler. This is ECA's Confeo 30 kilowatt combi boiler. <laughs> Old bean. We're going to start off with the components we've used on this boiler. So let's start with this thing right here, the magnetic filter. So this captures all of the oxidized rust coming from radiators. This prevents blockages within the heat exchanger and keeps the system clean. This is the return pipe back to the boiler. Water flows back through this filtration system before it enters the boiler. And swiftly moving on, thank you. This is a temperature and pressure gauge for the return water going back to the boiler. Okay, swiftly moving on, old chap. Let's talk about this bad boy right here. Yes, this is the filling valve for the heating system. So to top up the heating system, you twist this lever here. But the best feature about it most, which I like, old chap, is the fact that it fills up automatically. So you can leave it on auto fill and it will top itself up as and when it needs to. Okay, so this next gizmo here is a shock arrestor. This helps to prevent water hammer. Just below here is our splendid aqua biome. This helps to prevent lime scale within your hot and cold water system because we certainly don't want the plate to plate heat exchanger getting filled up and blocked up with lime scale. So this here is our gas pipe. We put a test nipple on there just so we can check our gas pressure to the boiler. Moving on, this is our hot water pipe. Little drain off there in the middle. And this hose-like thing right here this is for the condensed pipe, so that connects to the condensed trap and then connects to your waste outlet. This bad boy right here is a tun dish, so a dry tun dish. It is for the PRV, yes, the pressure release valve for the boiler. So if the boiler gets to a certain pressure over free bar, it spits it out there and then visibly you can see if it's leaking or not. Yes, and now we are moving on to the flow pipe. As you can see right here, we've got our temperature and pressure gauge. Then we've got our Spirotech AAV, so aerator, automatic air vent. Gets rid of the air out the system, which in turn removes the air from the heating system, which prevents rust and oxidization from the radiators. So this next gizmo is a bypass, an automatic bypass. So once both heating zones, upstairs and downstairs heating, are closed off, this allows the pump override on the boiler to circulate to let the heat come out the heat exchanger. In effect, <laughs> it's protecting the boiler. Water can then circulate and disperse the heat. Right, now swiftly moving on. So here we've got two circuits. We've got upstairs heating, so the water flows to there. And then we've got downstairs heating. So we separate the upstairs and downstairs heating with those two motorized valves. So on this particular install, we are using Hive. And this is the upstairs and downstairs receiver. So these connect to a wireless thermostat, which can be located in whatever room you like. I'd say the most occupied for upstairs and the most occupied for downstairs. So let's now talk about the controls on this boiler. This is touchscreen, so you can zoom it up now, up and down like that to control the temperature. So that is on the heating side. So that controls the actual temperature of the water that's in the pipes and in your radiator. So we have eco mode here. The eco mode is to reduce the gas consumption. So your boiler runs a lot more economically. If that's, that's said right. <laughs> and the comfort mode is to meet heating demands very quickly. And here on the left hand side, this is the temperature control of the hot water that comes out your tap. So if you slide it up and down, that will control that. Well, this is the tour pretty much over. This is it. Um, um, yeah, good old chap. That's that. 